Okay. Uh, I guess we'll start off tonight. Uh, you discussed a little bit uh, at uh, one of the upcoming committee meetings. There's going to be discussion on a TIF district. I don't know how much you can or want to say about that before the meeting happens, but uh, if you could expand on it as much as you could. Well, well TIF, it's just a tax increment financing, and uh, you locate a certain area, and basically it, the idea is the increased evaluation of the property as new businesses come in there, that stays within the TIF. Uh, TIF is usually established for a period of about 23 years, and during that period of time, the original base that the evaluation set up, that stays the same. So they keep paying taxes. And, and one confusion is no one going into the TIF is getting any tax breaks necessarily, but the tax they do pay does go back into the TIF that can be used for infrastructure within that designated area. So if uh, you're trying to have an industrial park or somewhere where you're trying to attract business, it's uh, enticing to them to locate there because they know that that money is going back to improve that area, to bring other businesses in there and more customers. So uh, it's something they look forward uh, to having. And so when you're competing you know, with other communities, trying to lure businesses in, it's, it's one thing that's nice to have uh, a feather in your hat that, hey, this is a, a TIF district and it could help uh, develop new businesses in this area. So I'm very supportive of it. Uh, uh, the guy we have coming to talk next Thursday, he's an expert, been in the business for 25 plus years. Uh, he can answer all their questions about it. I know some of the aldermen have some concerns about it and hopefully he can put, uh, alleviate those concerns and uh, we'll get this thing going. And you're saying that you feel it could really help towards uh, the proposed industrial park. Sure. Yeah. I, again, I, I think as far as attracting businesses to that park, again, because they will know that money is going back into that park to, to keep it updated, to uh, improve roads, curbing, whatever kind of landscaping needs to be done. That money could be used for those purposes. So it, it's just one more enticement to uh, bring them in. Let's move on to something else. Uh, had uh, a couple of resol or were they resolutions or motions for the purchase of some new equipment for the city? Yeah, well, some of them were actually ordinances to go ahead and purchase the equipment, and everything, uh, thing like that. And again, it's just the cost of doing business. Sometimes the equipment gets old; it it, it breaks down. And you have to replace it, and that's what we were doing tonight. Uh, also, the, when you try and do work with with less people which is what we've tried to do for years, sometimes you have to have equipment to replace those people that aren't there. And uh, it, it's one thing we've, we've had to do for, for a long time now. And uh, no one likes buying equipment because it is very expensive. But uh, a piece of equipment you don't have to pay workers' comp claims on or anything like that. So you have savings on that side of it. So that's one way of looking at it. I uh, also had some uh, water, water annexation agreements that yeah. were uh, passed tonight. Can we talk a little bit about those? Yeah, this, this is a very routine thing. When the uh, city of Taylorville provides water to somebody that's not within the city right now, they, they promise that if sometime in the future, if uh, the city grows and happens to encompass their property, at that time they will agree to annex into the city. So it's just uh, the, the kind of the city moving ahead, say if we get in that situation, we don't want to have to fight over it. You've already agreed that if that happens in the future, you will come in. Can you expand a little bit on the resolution that was uh, made tonight uh, regarding the uh, uh, city with the state in terms of uh, the airport? Well, the airport, we, we, we've got a paving project going there that we've been trying to get done for about four years now. Uh, we've actually put it out for bid at least twice previously and the bids were too high the state wouldn't accept them finally this time around the state said okay we will accept the price that the bids came in at and we will uh, you know provide the funding for that uh, the, uh, the actual state funds well actually the, it's a federal program and i believe about 90 percent of the uh, uh, project is funded through the uh, through the federal grant the state then uh, finances 5% and at least 5% for the city. So this project, which is almost a uh, million dollars, will end up costing the city about $44,000. It's much better than a million dollars. It's much better. I wish we could get the same kind of financing for our roads. We'd finally get some of them fixed, but uh, uh, it's Let's not talk about something else here. I had uh, a couple of things on the table regarding uh, water lab testing and mm. uh, sampling. Can we speak a little bit on yeah, that? Yeah, well, again, that's our, we follow the uh, directions of our water superintendent. Uh, you know, these things by law have to be tested, but there's certain ways you have to do it. And his fear is that uh, if we change the people, the testing procedure right now, and it hits just wrong uh, it, at the wrong time, uh, over a holiday or something like that, then we're, we have to shut down our water service for that period of time. And he wanted to make sure that wouldn't happen, so he wanted to stay with somebody that he knew he could depend on, even though they cost slightly more as far as their testing fees. And uh, we thought that dependability was more important than uh, paying the slightly extra fees, so we agreed to do that tonight. 
Let's end on uh, kind of a, a higher note. Arbor mm -hmm. Day is coming up. Taylorville being a tree city. The tree board has an event coming up. Yeah, uh, coming up uh, next Saturday, uh, they will actually be planting a tree. And, uh, uh, again, it's, it's going to be uh, coming into town off Route 29, uh, the area right across from the driver's license exam station, kind of between it and the uh, Historical Society uh, Museum. Uh, there's an area there that we've planted trees before. Uh, a couple of them have died, so we're going to replace those with new trees. And, again, people... Uh, uh, we are a tree city, have been a tree city for, I think, 27 plus years now. And uh, it's just a, it's a wonderful designation, something to be proud of. It, uh, the trees beautify the city, obviously, and uh, people underestimate how much good the trees do regarding flooding problems. Uh, a, a tree soaks up a tremendous amount of water, and if we didn't have those there, our flooding would be even worse. So uh, be thankful for those trees next time there's a big rain coming. And uh, finally, uh, last time we're speaking here, one of these mm -hmm. uh, post-meeting interviews. Uh, is sure. there anything you'd like to say to the uh, to the listeners or the residents of Taylorville, uh, mm -hmm. just kind of as you uh, leave office? Sure. Well, it's, it's just been a wonderful honor for eight years to be able to serve these people. It, it's, it's been fantastic. Uh, the opportunity I've had to work with the aldermen has been incredible. Uh, I, I admire each and every one of them. Anyone I've ever worked with, uh, they you know their hearts in the right place. Uh, you know, sometimes we've disagreed on, on the ways to get there, but we've all had the same idea in mind, the same goal in mind, that we want to make the city better. And uh, they've worked hard for that, and I've had a pleasure working with them. And as I've said before, it's just been an honor to do that. And uh, I would highly recommend anyone uh, that, that wants to get into uh, local government and, and serve, please do so, because it, it's, it really is needed. Someone's got to step forward and do that, and uh, we're, we're lucky we've had good people do that in the past. Thanks, Mayor. Thank you.